but I tell them straight up to their face. As long as you pay rent, you'll never see me, you'll never hear from me. I'm on the way to one of my student rentals. A lot of people are surprised to know that I still manage my long-term rentals, especially my long-term rentals. I use a management company for some of my Airbnbs, but the reason I manage my long-term rentals myself still is when I first bought my first investment property, I was only cash flowing like 200 bucks. So to pay a management company 10%, I wasn't going to make any money. Now I'm cash flowing over $2,000 so I could easily pay a management company, but over the years, many, many years since I bought this one, I just realized it's easy. Long-term tenants, as long as you are picky with your tenants, which the nice thing about students, college students, is they don't want to ever see the landlord, so I tell them straight up to their face, as long as you pay rent, you'll never see me, you'll never hear from me. Second part is a lot of times it's their parents paying for it. Even on the contract, sometimes the parents the co-signer. So I don't gotta worry about late rent. So I meet with them once a year. Right now, I'm going to meet with like it's for two bedrooms that are available. And I'm meeting with about five students because I tell them all, I just post it on Facebook Marketplace, Farmers.com, whatever. I get lit up, I meet all of them in one shot show them the room that creates urgency as well and i say first come first serve if you want it here's the 30 dollars application fee which gives me the background check and the credit check and a lot of college students sometimes don't even have credit that exists which in that case i simply add the parents so i meet once a year rarely there's an issue the whole story of the dishwasher breaks what happens to the cash flow if the dishwasher breaks the dishwasher never breaks. Get that out of your head and stop listening to all the other gurus out there. Is this the turn? Yeah. So I rarely come up here. If there is a problem, like the fart fan in one of the bathrooms went out, fart fans in one of the bathrooms went out, I then mow the kid 40 bucks, which is way too much, and tell him to fix it himself. I don't know if that's kosher, but college students are desperate to do anything for a quick buck. So. That's why I still manage it. it. Gives me something to do and it's easy. 